Thank you for joining us for this Passover celebration. Passover starts uh, tonight um, on the 8th of April and it goes through till the 16th of April. So it's eight days and it's very significant. Uh, it's very important that we understand why we're celebrating a Passover with all the Jewish people all over the world. And it's an honor to join them. It's an honor to join you. But the main reason that we're doing it is because there are two things that I believe will impact on our lives over the Passover period. Firstly, the Passover signifies and represents freedom from captivity. So that was the Exodus. Uh, the, the Jewish people, nearly a million of them, if you count the children, um, had to leave Egypt. And uh, this was the moment that it all happened. But also, it is the time where the 10th plague, uh, which God had put on Egypt, um, they were going to be delivered from that and the, the plague was not going to touch any home of the Israelites. And the only way that could happen is if uh, they obeyed what God or had told them to do through Moses. Now, the reason why it's important to us is this uh, pandemic that we're in is very similar to the plague. And I believe that uh, over this period, we are going to see God's hand on this nation, on our lives, uh, you know, in our homes, wherever. His presence, His power is going to manifest. Now, I know that uh, COVID-19 is the illness. The plague is, was like COVID-19. And the plague was meant to kill the firstborn in every family, including the livestock. Everyone in, his, in, in Egypt would have been affected by that. And that would have had a knock-on effect to future generations. So uh, COVID-19, if you add the one and the nine, is 10. Well, the 10th plague, very similar. Whether it's significant or not, I'm not sure. But I quite like the fact that it was the 10th plague and our COVID-19, 1 and 9, adds up to 10. Let's look at God's Word and let's see what God had asked the people of Israel, the Israelites, to do. And I'm going to be reading from Exodus chapter 21. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, Pick out and take lambs for yourselves according to your families and kill the Passover lamb and you shall take a, a bunch of hyssop, dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two door uh, doorposts with the blood uh, that is in the basin. So quite simply, is they, they killed the lamb, they, they took the blood and they put it in a bowl, put some hyssop together and then they literally just painted the doorposts and the top of the door. And what happened is that God said that this angel of death, the angel of destruction, would pass over, and that's why it's called a Passover, would pass over every house that has blood over the door and on the doorposts. Well, we know we have the blood of Jesus. And it's very symbolic that we can connect with this in a, in a real way. That our Passover lamb is Jesus Christ. And he shed his blood. And uh, on our doors, on, on both pillars and on top of the door of every home is the blood of Jesus. So this plague, COVID-19, cannot come in to anyone's home. If you believe it, it will happen. It will happen in your home. It will happen in the homes of your families. It, I believe that, that this is a message for our nation, that over the Passover period, that this uh, virus is going to have to pass over. It will not remain. We will see major breakthroughs. 
And the important thing is that we will see the breakthrough and God will get the glory. Are you in agreement with me? I believe this is a significant moment in the history of this nation. And let's look. So the first thing that we see is there was deliverance from the plague. The plague could not touch any uh, person, any household that had the blood uh, sprinkled around the posts and across the door. We have the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God that was sacrificed for us so that we can be safe and that um, no plague, no virus, no pandemic can come against us. Now the second thing is also very important. It represents liberty and freedom. And uh, I love the story because after God had released the plague, everyone in Egypt became terrified. They were in such distress because listen to what it says. It says, all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of the Pharaoh to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of the livestock. Everything was affected. And it says, there was not a house where there was not one dead. So this was a pretty serious plague. But God used that. God said to Moses, tell your people to go and ask from the Egyptians for silver, gold, and clothing. And you know what? They're going to give it to you. But before that, the Pharaoh himself approached Moses and said, get your people out of here. You know, we, we cannot live under these conditions. So you just take your people and you go. And that's when Moses said, well, uh, you know, go and ask for the Egyptians. And this is, I'll read it out to you. It says that they had asked from the Egyptians articles of silver, articles of gold and clothing, and the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they granted them what they requested. Thus, they plundered the Egyptians. Oh, wow. So not only are, do they get to, to move out of captivity into freedom, they are able to take not just what is theirs, because they put everything that they had all together to leave with them. But Moses said, go and ask the Egyptians and they will give you. And God had given them favor. So they plundered uh, the Egyptians. And now we're talking about 600 thousand, uh, sorry, 600,000 men on foot besides children. Wow. So that's about a million or plus people suddenly mobilized. And they left the place of their captivity. For, they were held captive for 430 years. That's why the Jewish people celebrate Passover. I mean, we should celebrate our freedom as well, because we are going to be free from COVID-19, the 10th plague. But we are also going to receive more abundance. I'm talking to the church now. The church is going to receive more abundance than it's ever had. There will be more uh, prosperity manifest in the lives of the people than there's ever been. The church is just going to be overwhelmed with people, but also there will be financial rewards because the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Well, this is the time. This Passover, we're going to start to see breakthroughs in people's lives. Prepare yourself for a great outpouring of God's Spirit, souls flooding into His kingdom, but also for the prosperity that is attached to that. Because to care for hundreds of thousands of souls, we do need financial uh, support and we need a lot of finances to flood into God's kingdom. And I believe that's going to happen. So just to, to, to go over the, 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 the essentials of what 
Passover is all about and how we can relate to it. Firstly, it's deliverance, it's safety from the plague, from COVID-19, the 10th plague. But it is also a time where the, when the church has been held captive and hasn't been able to break through in society, and I don't know for how many years, but we can see with the Israelites, <laughs> it was a very long time. But we are going to break through and our liberty is going to set a new standard in society. There will be a, a new moral compass, new values, Christian values. And it's going to start over this eight-day period that we are entering in from this evening. So you join me and you join your faith with mine because I know this is a word from God. I can see it. It's not coincidence that the timing for Passover happens to coincide with this period. And it's really important that we as Christians join with the Jews all over the world and celebrate Passover. So I'm going to just give you some advice. This is how uh, I was raised in a, a, a Jewish community. I remember going to shul and uh, I remember after you come back from the synagogue, uh, this is when Passover starts uh, and this is what's happening tonight. You get together with your family and you have a meal. And I want all of us to do that tonight. Get together with your family, have a meal. We've given you some guidelines, you know, chicken, uh, some, some greens, some beetroot, because there's got to be something red that rep represents blood, um, and also an egg which represents a new life. But just whatever you have, just put it in the middle of the table and you share it. If you've got matzo unleavened bread, you can do that. Uh, we can use crackers as well. But let's sit together around the table. Let's enjoy a Passover meal. And then the tradition is you share and tell stories. Let every member of your family give a testimony, share a story. This is how the Israelites passed down all the great things that God had done for them, just by sitting around at the Passover meal and sharing. I want you to share tonight. Tell your stories. Share your testimonies to your children. Maybe they've not heard about that time God delivered you. Share that. Let their faith be enabled and grow because of the testimonies that we share. Hallelujah. The, the next thing is that after you've had your meal and you've, uh, um, and you've shared your testimonies, you've told stories, then what normally happens is they play games because it's a celebration. I'm sure you can figure out a nice game that you and your family can play that maybe right through this uh, lockdown you've never played a game. Well, tonight's your night. Let's, pl let's play games. Amen. Why? It, games tells me that we're broken through. Hallelujah. So you do that. And I can assure you that this next week, the Passover week, including in the middle of that Passover week, is Easter. It's Good Friday and then Sunday, which is Resurrection Sunday, in the middle of it. So in that time, we're going to see awesome things take place. So you join us for our Friday, um, a Good Friday service. We're going to have communion and also for our celebration, our Resurrection Sunday, Christos Anesti. Amen. But enjoy your Passover meal. Share your stories. Let us know. Text us. Do whatever you can to let, and, and all your friends as well. Tell them what's happened. Tell them what is going to happen and enjoy because this is the appointed time for you to break through in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching.